everyone, and welcome to the Gold Lactation Online Conference for 2014. I'm just here with Laura Wilson, and we're just having a little chat about her up-and-coming topic that she's going to be speaking on, epigenetics and breast milk, the potential impact of breastfeeding on genetic expression. So welcome, Laura. It's great to have you here today. I'm just Thank going to ask you a few questions. I'm excited to see your topic, and um, so I'm just going to dig a little bit deeper. And for those listening, uh, they'll get to hear a little bit more before they come and join us for the live sessions. So can you tell me, how did you first become involved with epigenetics? Well, interestingly, I'm also a yoga teacher, and I was noticing that my students over the years were becoming more and more stressed, and the impact of that stress on my students prenatally, um, I was actually seeing really different types of um, experiences that these mothers were having with their babies. The babies, their relationship to the mothers and how their stress responses were in relation to their mothers, and also how breastfeeding was going for these moms due to the heightened levels of stress. And it got me very interested in what was going on. Like, was stress really something that could change um, how, how we become who we are? And I started doing research on nutrition and mindfulness and what's going on in pregnancy and I learned about epigenetics and it just started to fascinate me and it became a, a passion of mine to share the message with families that what goes on for a mother prenatally and in those early years for her child is not only um, benefiting them as a family but it can really have long-term consequences on their, their children's genetic health and brain development. Wow, so this all started in a yoga, in a yoga environment. In my yoga class, very class, cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you've got my attention. I'm I'm excited to hear what you have to say. I mean, it's it certainly is true that uh, prenatally we we do see a lot of stress today, you know. And so I'm excited to hear what you have to say. So can mm -hmm. you tell our delegates that are listening um, what what are they going to get out of, of this session? What what can you offer them? Well, I, I think understanding that breastfeeding, we've known for so long that breastfeeding has very clear health indicators for the long-term um, health of our, of our children and the long-term health of our society. And now that we're starting to understand the role of epigenetics, how um, our environment actually changes our genetic expression, we are starting to understand that our very first foods can set the stage not only for long-term genetic expression but actually change our environment later on in life. So one of the things that this talk will help help professionals really embrace is it'll give them a depth and a resonance to the information that they're sharing with families so that it's not just we're not just talking about statistics, you know, statistics statistically, this is what we're seeing for a reduction in diabetes, and this is what we're seeing in reduction in Crohn's disease and whatnot, but it really can help them share this information that we can really see genetic changes based on how long and whether babies receive their mother's own milk. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. I think that's something that our mothers that we work with, they're hungry for this information. What else can you tell me? You know, what, you know, so it really, I think it's a driving force into itself right now. That's, that's very exciting. So Absolutely. can you tell me, can you tell me finally, can you tell me how has this impacted you personally? Once I really found out about epigenetics, and since I was already in the field of a perinatal support and health, it, it really drove home my desire and my passion to share this message with as many healthcare professionals as I possibly could, to get the word out to as many families as I possibly could that, you know, our decisions early on during pregnancy and in those early years of our children's lives, they matter, and they matter for the long-term um, health of our children. And so for me, it's really, it, it's just made me even more passionate. And it's actually made my days much longer because I have so much more work to do now. But it's really, it's really exciting. I feel like I never have a day off because even when I'm in the grocery store, I'm wanting to share this message. It's, it's so exciting, I think, really. Well, it does sound very ex exciting, and um, you know, I'm almost feeling this bit of contagious behavior happening just as I'm listening <laughs> and uh, laughing. You know, I'm smiling as I'm hearing you because 
your enthusiasm is um, is awesome. So, well, that's all the time we have for today. Um, but do come back and listen to uh, the full presentation. And I know that you're in for a real treat listening to Laurel. So, thanks for being with us today, Laurel. Thank you.